internet and welcome back to the channel um, so it's been cold lately we had snow yesterday and it's been pretty freezing over the past few days so you know that only means one thing batteries car batteries this type of year kills your battery and if you've got one that's starting to go it will just be game over um, so today the wife went uh, to her car the, the one here the, the cabriolet and turn the key and yeah you got this famous arr, arr. You know that sound you make when you're really drunk and you can't get your words out. That, that's the car equivalent to it. Um, so basically we had to jump start it off uh, the MR2 of all things. Uh, but I don't want to be stuck out in the middle of nowhere with a dead battery because uh, quite frankly I'm too old to start pushing cars around and try to bump start them. Um, so I got online, as you do, on, uh, on, the, on the internet and uh, got onto GSF, which I use a lot, and they had a special offer on. Uh, they had a battery, and uh, however you say it, and it was supposed to be £244, and I got it for 97 so that's what I'm going to do now. It's going on there. Join me. So for anybody that's never touched a battery on an Audi before, uh, an 8P, um, they're quite simple to change. You've got your battery here, and it says there, look. Oh, it shows you. Battery. There, yeah, really easy. Press that forward. Pull that up. There's your battery. Okay. Now, what happens from here after that top comes off, these bits come off as well. So, basically, you give these a little bit of a twist and a little bit of a pull, and they do come off. But what I'm going to do first is disconnect that there, because to me... Whoever changed the battery last has done that wrong, so I'm going to correct that. Uh, that one's okay. And um, there is a bolt, uh, you're not going to be able to see it, but it's right down there. I'll guide you. There's a 13mm, I think it is, down there. You undo that, that's the battery clamp. Uh, undo that 10mm, undo that 10mm, and battery out. Simple as that, quickly change it over. Let's get on with it. Okay, when you're taking these off, always hit the positive first. Which one's the positive? There you go, plus. Positive. Always take that one off first. There you go. She's off. Um, when you're doing this, by the way, it's not too bad on modern cars because they're all plastic, but be careful where you're touching your spanner. Because as you're on the positive terminal, that becomes positive. And you don't want to touch it on the negative. It hurts. Believe me. They're good and tight. Persuasion. Right, that one's a bit tighter than I wanted it to be, so um, bear with me. Gonna get a spanner in that joint there and just spray it a bit. Spray it? Splay it? I don't know what I mean. Oh, loosened, joint, splayed, like that, it's very springy, come on off, come on off, come on, come on, yeah, come on, go on. do you ever feel you need two hands to do this, god damn, what am I doing this to myself, oh now I've lost my screwdriver, oh back in a minute, hold on, there you go, two hands is much better than one, and it's off. That'll teach me for trying to be cleverer than what I am. Right, so what I've got to do now is get down there, I can get my torch down there, maybe you can see it. There you go, there's a 13 mil, right. That's the way. There we go, right down there. So we'll get that undone, and then the battery should pop straight out. Okay, 
Okay, so we've got the bolt out. Now these should slide out like so. There you go. So they just pull out basically, they link together. You can see there. I'll show you when I put them back together. But that one comes out like that. That one you can pretty much leave in because it's not in the way. And then we just give the battery a bit of a Ooh, not on the good ugger. This time you need a, a grunt. There you go. Battery out. And there you go, that's what you're left with when you take the battery out. Um, as you can see there, the positive was all looped incorrectly. I'm not so sure the negative, or ground if you want to call it that way, is. Um, oh, maybe, I don't know. I'm not going to worry too much about it, it's not causing any problems. Right, new battery in, let's do it. So there you go, got myself a nice Ujiwoyasa battery. And um, yeah, it's a 5000. But I got it because it's 80 amp hour cranking and it's got a nice little green light as well, which used to be a thing with the Vauxhalls years ago. Um, but yeah, it's back. <laughs> hey! Um, right, so all you've got to do from this point is make sure that you've got it the right way around. So notice we've got the negative there and we've got the positive there. And obviously, positive is there on here. So the battery, obviously, has got to go in like that. So let's get it in there and get it bolted up. So one thing you've got to be mindful of is that bracket there. It can go in several different ways and um, on this particular one it goes in over the top of that ridge there. Um, it, it stands to reason when you start working with it which way it goes but um, just make sure that uh, you're not made the mistake of um, putting it underneath the battery uh, because then there's nothing holding it in <laughs> and uh, it will rock about. Okay got the battery back in, got the uh, the bolt done up there and um, don't go hanging off that and doing it as tight as you can, you no need to, all it is is just keep it nice and secure in there. Um, right so next thing I want to get the cover back on again uh, and this cover just, uh, well you can see now I've got it off, there's a tapered slot there which goes into uh, a bit down there and these little pegs just clip in down there so it all goes back pretty well, pretty carefully, there's a slot for the wires obviously um, so I'm going to get that on there because that's going to take two hands and then we're about there put the positive and negative terminal on and uh, put the top on and uh, give it a go Okay, just about there, um, typical newish car scenario where everything's plastic and everything's a pain in the backside to get in. But it's in, the cover's back on again. I uh, had to put the positive on to get the wire in the right place. So it just remains now to put the negative on, like so. And there's no major bangs, fizzles or pops. So everything seems good. And we give that a little bit of a tap down, like so. Uh, so I've got to tighten those back up again and then um, give the car a start up. Now I'm pretty sure on Audis, unlike uh, BMWs I've owned in the past, and there's no crazy uh, battery reset. See that tap as well. There's no crazy battery reset or anything like that. I think you just change the battery and, and go on with your normal business. Um, I know on the 320 I had, um, it was a low 9 plate, um, everything had to be reset when it was changed. It was an absolute pain in the backside, but I don't think this has got that problem. We shall find out. So let's get those tied down and uh, start the car up and see if any uh, alerts come up on the dash. And there you go, all back together again. Uh, again, when you're tightening up the uh, connectors, you don't need to hang off them, you don't need to get them that tight. You just need to snug them up and uh, just, just make sure they're not gonna come undone. Right, here's the moment of truth. You're joining me for the inaugural startup. Um, I've gotta get in the car because it has one of these crazy Audi ideas. Oh, God, the misses are so short. <sighs> yeah, it has one of these crazy ideas where uh, you've got to put the clutch in to start the car. Right. Key in. ESP fault. Oh, no. Don't worry. You'll probably get something like that because uh, you've disconnected the battery. Oh, that sounded a lot, lot better. Right, let's see what we've got. So ESP fault, yeah, I expected that. Steering fault, so that one there, easy way to get rid of that. All the way round to the stop. All the way the other way round to the stop. Back to the middle again. And it should go. And it's going to prove me wrong. <laughs> right, may need a little drive. 
that is possible and the ESP fault that's going to need a little drive as well I think right let's shut the bonnet take it for a little spin and um, those should go away and there you go we're all clear good stuff and off again so if you do change your battery and you get some lights don't panic it is quite normal um, it does kind of reset the ECU and uh, all you've got to do is take it for a quick drive and, and those will disappear if they don't disappear you've got a fault it's as simple as that but they should disappear pretty quickly uh, right that is the job done so there you go quick and easy little job um, all I've got to do now is dispose of the battery and that's easy done I put it down the side of the house and we get a scrap metal merchant comes around once a week and uh, it will be gone um, it's useful to somebody it's not useful to me the battery you could probably use as a spare or something but what's the point I've spent less than a hundred pounds making this reliable for the next three to four years uh, probably even longer uh, and to me once batteries start to go that's it I change them it's not worth messing about you know you, you leave it and leave it and leave it or keep charging it I could have kept charging it it might have gone for another six months but there's going to be that one day where you really need your car and you're going to go to it and it's not going to work it ain't worth it anyway thanks for joining me and uh, whatever you're doing have a good time <laughs>